scholarships 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 just something about paying to go to school it just doesn't sit right with me please do not let some random ass computer choose who you're going to be living with for the next few years that's insane college is a nothing like high school do i think college is worth it What's up you guys welcome or welcome back to all things Ange. i'm here with another video for you guys today and as you can see by that title and that thumbnail today i'm going to be sharing with you guys what i wish i knew before i started college so just for reference i am a recent college graduate i received my bachelor of fine arts degree in mass communications and the performing arts from Mega Evers College. I did, however, do my freshman year at Old Westbury on campus. So I'm just gonna be sharing from like my experience and what I went through. So let's just get right into it. The first thing I wish I knew before starting college will probably be scholarships. Scholarships, scholarships, scholarships. I mean, of course I knew about scholarships. I just wish I had taken more advantage of them Cause I don't know, it's just something about paying to go to school. It just doesn't sit right with me, you know? Especially for somebody like me who doesn't qualify for financial aid because my parents make too much money. I actually had to end up taking out student loans to go to school. So yeah, now I do have my degree, but I also have thousands of dollars in student loans that I need to pay off. I think Biden is gonna pay off our student loans though. I really think he is because I was supposed to start paying them this January, but then in December I got an email saying that I didn't have to. So he's definitely working towards paying them off for us. It's the feds. I don't know why the government doesn't wanna pay off our student loans, but hopefully Biden pulls through for us and we could just take care of that by the end of the year because I know I'm not the only one who got student loans. But yeah, I just want you guys to know that you can get a scholarship for literally anything. You do not need a 4.0 GPA to get a scholarship. You could get an athletic scholarship. You could get a military scholarship, a disability scholarship, a religion scholarship. If you live in a certain area, you could get a scholarship, an ethnic scholarship. So I advise everyone to just like do your research and figure out which scholarships work best for you and apply to those because Pay for school is weird, okay? The second thing would have to be roommates. And this is something that I actually did know about before starting college. I just wanna put y'all onto it. Y'all know y'all could choose your own college roommates, right? <laughs> Please do not let some random ass computer choose who you're going to be living with for the next few years. That's insane. Now that I'm thinking about it, college is really weird as hell, like. <laughs> because a random ass computer gets to choose who you live with so like i said earlier i actually did my freshman year at old westbury so y'all know college usually starts like late august so they invited us to come up for a weekend in like july where we got to you know tour the campus register for our classes and meet some of the other students and i actually ended up befriending a group of girls now old westbury is a very diverse school it's very diverse a little bit of everybody up there which it's nothing wrong with that it's fine i just wanted a roommate who i knew would understand me and i wouldn't have to you know act a certain way or change how i would normally do things because i wouldn't you know want her judging me like if she hears me talking on the phone a certain way you know she wouldn't get offended she just be like oh you know that's just how she talk you know so um I ended up befriending a group of girls. It was like six of us. We all just met for the first time. They were all black and Spanish, which is <laughs> perfect because that's what I am. So yeah, by the end of the weekend, I just ended up asking one of the girls like, yo, trying to be my roommate or what? 
and she was like yeah and we literally went down to the i think it was the registrar's office i'm not sure but we did it in person we went down to the office we signed the papers that had both our names on it i agreed that i want her to be my roommate she had to agree want me to be her roommate and yeah that was in july before i had to go back in august they sent me the paper saying that she was going to be my roommate and it was great like it was a really great experience she was a cool girl she understood everything you know that was going on with me and vice versa so it was a really cool experience so i don't think anybody should let a computer choose who you're living with one of the other girls in our friend group she ended up being in a triple with two of the nastiest bitches okay and i felt so bad for her one of them just didn't like to shower and the other like brought roaches with her i'm not sure if she brought them from home with her or if she was just so dirty the roaches came but i felt so bad for her so yeah if you know somebody that you're going to school with or like you've befriended somebody and you're cool with them and you want to change your roommate like y'all can do that you can choose your own roommate and you can change it so i advise everybody to do that the third thing i wish i knew before starting college would be choosing a major I just want you guys to know that you should choose a major based off of something that you're genuinely interested in and passionate about and not what you think is going to make you money after you graduate because you won't graduate. Like when I was at Westbury, my major was business. I don't even remember if it was like administration or management or marketing. It was just business and who child? <clears throat> I had to take that macroeconomics. Comment down below if you ever took macroeconomics in college. That shit was the death of me, okay? Matter of fact, when I left Old Westbury, I think my GPA was probably like a 1.8. And I graduated cum laude from Mega Evers, so yeah. And that's because after I transferred and changed my major and actually started taking classes that I was genuinely interested in, you know my grades started to go up and i started to do better because i was studying what i actually liked and not what you know i thought was gonna get me a good paying job after college and i actually you know ended up enjoying the experience so you guys choose majors based off of what you actually like colleges have thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of majors they have minors so you know just do your research on the school and study something that you really like because this is your money this is your education this is your life you know don't study what your parents want you to study because they think it's going to make you money like you got to do what you got to do for you so yeah i wish i had known that because if i did it probably would have saved me a lot of time I actually was a semester behind graduating so yeah that stuff wastes time because if you change your major to something that has nothing to do with what you were studying before you know, you might not be able to transfer the credits over to your degree. So it's just a mess. That's just something for y'all to think about. The fourth thing would probably be that college is nothing like high school. And I know that's probably like a big VA dub, but it's just the, the things that were so important in high school just became completely irrelevant in college. And I feel like it really... It really caught me off guard like you know i just i wasn't expecting that like um i don't know in high school there's just kind of like this unspoken popularity contest who dresses the best whose hair is the nicest who got the flies clothes who is jordan's nobody gives a shit about that in college it really it just doesn't matter like i remember buying a whole new wardrobe to go away to school and i ended up wearing the exact same shit to class every day Every day I went to class in sweats and crocs, sweats and crocs, sweats and crocs, sweats and crocs every day. Only if it was like an event or a party or something on campus, I would dress up. Other than that, sweats and crocs. Your college professors, I don't want to say they don't care about you because they definitely do. Like I definitely still have some professors who like I could call to this day if I need help with something and they really like, you know, cool with me and things like that. But they're not going to be as hard on you as your high school teachers were. Like I had some high school teachers who like really thought they was my mother and I had to tell them like, yo, sis, calm down. All right. Like they really thought they was my mother. And I know it's because they just cared about me. But in college, it's really it's really not going to be like that. Like you have a certain level of freedom 
that you know i just wasn't prepared for like i remember my very first week of class so my freshman year first week i'm raising my hand i had to go to the bathroom she like girl you don't gotta raise your hand to go to the bathroom you could go she said and then she made an announcement she said if y'all want to leave y'all could go i was like oh it's like that like if you want to get up and leave in college you could just get up and leave you know it's just like it's like really the real world attendance high school attendance did not matter my high school anyway all you had to do was just get your third period attendance because that was the attendance that they took to the main office and if you wasn't on that attendance they called your house and told them that you wasn't there for the whole day like what but if you think about it all you had to do was get that third period attendance and then leave and then it was like you was there for the whole day so i really liked that but college depending on the professor that you have and that's the thing that i really don't like like different professors can run their classes different ways you really only get a certain number of absences before they'll either fail you or drop you out the class i never knew a professor could withdraw you from a class i never knew that like how dare you this is a class that i picked that i paid for and you're just gonna kick me out that's insane so yeah it's, it's just really different i feel like college is a time for you to mature and get your priorities in order and have fun you know you want to have fun but you know you're there to get an education so just make sure that that happens as well especially if you're going to like a party school like albany or buff I know so many people who transferred out of there because it's just it's just a party school like all they do is turn up so yeah just make sure that you have your priorities in order college is not high school nothing close and yeah so the last thing i just want to touch on is do i think college is worth it as someone who has done four and a half years straight of college got their degree do i feel like it's really worth it to go to college I don't know. I mean, yes, of course, that education is always worth it. But I was really just one of those people who went away to school because like, what the fuck else was I going to do after I graduated high school? Like, that's what all my friends were doing. That's what my parents told me to do. So that's what I did. But an education is always worth it, especially for somebody like me. There was a time where people like me weren't able to go to school and get an education. And my ancestors had to fight and die so i could so of course i'm gonna take advantage of that opportunity but college isn't for everyone it's really not i feel like college requires a certain level of discipline that a lot of y'all just don't have education is for everyone though so if you could find a way to educate yourself that doesn't involve giving a university thousands of dollars i'd advise you to do so you know you don't need college to be successful, but I feel like you gotta be like really talented <laughs> without it. Yeah. yeah, That's pretty much it for this video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed. I hope I was able to give you guys like some college advice. I'm not even sure if that's it for my college journey. I might go to grad school. I don't know, my parents want me to go, but it's like, do you have grad school money? Because I don't have grad school money, okay? Somebody needs to pay me to go to school. You know what I'm saying? I'm not paying to go to school. If somebody want to give me a scholarship to go to grad school, I'll do that. But who knows? I feel like that's one of the beautiful things about college is you can always stop and pick up again, like right where you left off. So, you know, that's always a good thing too. But... Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on that post notification bell so you get notified every time I post. And I will see you guys in my next video.